वेलकम व्यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डेमी या सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी यू आर वॉचिंग प्लानिंग इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट नंबर ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टीन वट इज कंकरेंट डिले आंसर कंकरेंट डिलेज हैज टू मीनिंग्स वन वन टू इवेंट्स ऑफ डिले on critical path are occurring at the same time one affecting activities on contractor's risk and the other affecting activities on employer's risk number 2 or two or more events of delay on project critical path that belongs to one only of these parties contractor or client question number 115 what is a baseline answer baseline is the value or condition against which all future measurements will be compared the baseline is a point of reference in project management there are three baselines schedule baseline cost baseline and scope baseline question number 116 what is the difference between bar chart and network diagram bar charts and network diagrams are used to display visually the complexities and dependencies of project work network diagrams displays the project work and linkages through chronological flow of work from start to finish gantt charts visually display primarily the work breakdown and the associated durations both charts graphically show work breakdowns enabling managers and workers to easily identify conflicts codependencies and determine the effect of change in the system question number 100 and 17 what is thresholds in project management answer it is the project management technique in which lower and upper values of a parameter are specified against which project data can be evaluated and monitored it could be applied on wbs level as well as activity level Question number one hundred and eighteen: What is difference between crashing and fast tracking? Answer: There are basically two techniques that can be used to shorten the project duration while maintaining the project scope. These techniques are fast tracking and crashing. Crashing is the process of adding resources. to one the project so as to be able to finish it faster it has cost impact fast tracking on the other hand is the process of performing tasks in parallel so as to be able to finish the project sooner it does not have any cost impact but increases the risk question number 119 what is the difference what is the normal productivity of welder for carbon steel material per day answer this question is to test your knowledge of productivity rates however you should not memorize all answers in your mind your answers could be i don't memorize all productivity rates since it is a vary from an organization to another and from worker nationality to another however i have some standards that i refer to when i the, the organization productivity rate is not available question number 120 what is the difference between free float and total float answer Total float is the amount of time that an activity can be delayed without delaying the project completion date on a critical path the total float is zero 
free float is the amount of time that an activity can be delayed without delaying the early start of its successor activity question number 121 for an activity if the free float is negative whereas the total float is positive is this possible to happen and what's the impact answer it may happen depend on the activity flow but that doesn't mean this free float will affect the completion of the project since the total float is positive question number 122 define critical path answer a critical path is a sequence of project network activities which add up to the longest overall duration regardless if that longest duration has float or not this determines the shortest time possible to complete the project question number 123 does primavera loads cash in and cash out in same schedule answer primavera deals with cost of the project only cash out but you can work around with making a resource called cash in or out to view cash in or out question number 124 how to reduce critical path answer a compressing schedule by fast tracking crashing reduce scope cut quality b fast tracking results in rework increase risk requires more attention and communication c crashing increase cost increase management time d reduce scope negative impact on customer satisfaction e cut quality increase risk require good metrics question number 125 what is the normal total float allowed for a new project answer total float should be not greater than 10% duration of the total project duration this percentage is subjective so this is our today's content and we were representing part number 12 so the videos are still to be continued to part number 13 thanks for watching soft demi like comment and share don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon meet you in our next video